Hi, I'm Danny Mays and you're watching Loaded.co.uk. I was slightly nervous, I'm not going to lie. Um, it's a sort of national institution, but um, when I met the director, he kind of gave me a rundown of all the casts that they'd assembled. Um, and any sort of fear or, or worry or sort of trepidation I had about taking the project on was soon diminished when I found out who was in it. So uh, I guess from a selfish point of view, I was more excited about standing uh, shoulder to shoulder with all those great actors. And you also got to be in line of duty. Yes. What's your own relationship like with the police? Have you ever encountered the police? <laughs> oh, no, not really. Not really, no. I remember throwing, uh, uh, maybe when I was in my misspent youth. Um, but no, I'm really excited about Line of Duty. I think uh, it's got a cult following and um, Jeb Mercurio has just produced another standout script. Um, yes, yeah, high octane kind of thrilling piece of action to be involved in. And of course, Keely Hawes, who you were in with uh, in Ashes to Ashes, was in the previous series line of duty. Did you phone her for any advice or anything like that about the series? No, well I'd worked, uh, yeah, we've worked with Keely with on Ashes, hadn't I? So, um, not really, I mean, they were massive shoes to fill, to be honest, because um, her performance in the second series of line of duty was just sort of, in a way, poles apart from Ashes. I think her performance in line of duty was the best she's ever delivered. So, um, she certainly raised the bar for me. Um, her and Lenny James in the first series, so yeah, they're big shoes to fill. Um, but I just can't wait for people to watch it. And your old flatmate Craig Parkinson's in the show as well. Yeah. What was Craig like as a flatmate? <laughs> he was awful. He was untidy. He was rude. He was. He never did the washing up. No, we had a sort of mental uh, sort of about a year and a half living together, and um, we met at a, a TV table reading, and then. We both split up with girlfriends and then we both uh, were looking for a flat. So it just sort of worked out. The timing was just right. Um, but it was just great to find, because we've always been saying, when are we going to work together? So to finally get that opportunity was was great. And um, I think he's such a brilliant actor and he's um, sort of built up such a great career for himself. And I'm just so proud of the sort of parts he's played. And uh, yeah, he's a phenomenal talent. So it was great. Yeah, we had a right giggle on set. And how often do you get stopped in the street? And how often, you know, what what do people mostly know you for? Do you think? Um, yes, occasionally I do get stopped, and it's invariably uh, Ronnie Biggs, Mrs. Biggs, or Ashes to Ashes, maybe. But you know, it's always you know anyone that ever comes up to me, they're always very nice and they're always complimentary about the work. And um, yeah, just it's always great to sort of. Um, see a friendly face and know that people seem to get a lot about out of the uh, performances you give. 